Not to go into details, but I want to share with you a technical specification of a string inverter. What's important is the output power of a string inverter, and this is just an example, it's 20,000 watts, it's 20 kilowatts, so 20 kilowatts inverter. Remember, if each panel is 200 watts, we know how many panels we need for a 20,000 watts. 100 panels. So no matter what, no way more than 100 panels connected together in series can be connected to a string inverter that is um, designed to produce 20,000 watts. We have here maximum input current, maximum input voltage, maximum output current, maximum in, uh, output voltage, efficiencies and a, a typical efficiency level of an inverter is 95% and up. There are inverters in the market today that have efficiency of 98.6, 98.3, 99, touching the 99, very high. But we need to cool them down. We need to place them in a shaded area. When we install the system, the um, the inverters should not face the sun. The sun will heat them up, efficiency will go down. It's an electronic device. We want to cool it down. It has the uh, range of temperatures, it has a range of humidity, and so on and so on and so on. We will not go into all of these uh, parameters and values. He just says, I wanted to point out and share with you a typical technical specification of an inverter. Each technical specification specify the minimum into input voltage for the inverter to wake up, as we said before. This is very, very important. What we want to look at when we look at the technical specification of any inverter is to have this minimum wake up voltage level as low as possible, meaning that it will capture very low level of output voltage coming from the panels even as the sun rises and wake up to convert it into AC.